In order to fully understand monitoring, one must have a better understanding of what quality systems are and what are their purposes. Quality control systems are the operational techniques and activities undertaken to verify the requirements for the quality of trial-related activities. Monitoring is a part of the QC activity. Monitoring activities are undertaken by the trial members themselves. Audit is an inspection undertaken by personnel independent of trial in accordance with the protocol of the study's standard operating procedures, or SOP. It is part of a QA activity. A monitor is an individual employed by a pharmaceutical or medical device manufacturer by a contract research organization, usually acting on a sponsor's behalf, or by an academic institute conducting clinical trials. Some of the major responsibilities of the monitor are Assuring the protection of the rights, safety and well-being of human study subjects To analyze and evaluate clinical data To ensure investigator and site compliance with the study drug protocol, overall clinical objectives, FDA regulations, ICH guidelines and good clinical practice Help in the study site selection process Initiate and eventually close out clinical study sites to monitor the progress of clinical study sites participating in a clinical study. To ensure that protocol is followed and data is reported accurately. To make certain that the scientific integrity of the data collected is protected and verified. And to assure that adverse events are correctly documented and reported, review all case report forms and compare them to source documents. Auditing is the systematic and independent examination of trial-related activities and documents to determine whether the evaluated trial-related activities were conducted and whether the data was recorded, analyzed and accurately reported according to the protocol. The most cited clinical trial areas during audits include Adverse event review and reporting Closure of study or lapse Approvals while studying related activities which are still ongoing Informed consent process and documentation. Drug or device accountability. And protocol adherence. Inspection is the act by a regulatory authority or authorities of conducting an official review of documents, facilities, records and any other resources that are deemed by the authorities to be related to the clinical trial and that may be located at the site of the trial at the sponsor's or CRO's facilities, or at other establishments deemed appropriate by the regulatory authorities. The inspections consist of site visits to the organization and, where appropriate, selected clinical investigator sites. The inspection starts with an opening meeting where the lead inspector usually outlines the scope and purpose of the inspection, confirms the inspection plan, and introduces the inspectors upon completion of the inspection process. If inspectors find issues related to the clinical trial process, certain measures should be taken. Here are a few examples. Protocol non-compliance. Inadequate or inaccurate records. Informed consent issues. And adverse event reporting. Some of the major differences between an audit and inspection are. First. In audit, inspectors are employed by the company who work for active clinical quality assurance function, such as sponsor, CRO, and etc. Second, an audit is done to ensure that the site complies with protocol, SOP, GCP, and applicable regulatory requirement. Third, in inspection, inspectors are employed by government through the agency of the regulatory or competent authority, such as the FDA. And fourth, an inspection is done to ensure the trial-related obligations and acceptability of resultant clinical data is relevant.